Swiffer and I miss you. I thought I'd show him off because he got groomed a few days ago and he looks presentable, don't you? He misses his chicken from Ruthie and he misses all you guys. <laughs> so hopefully, maybe in a month or something, we'll get together. But thank you so much to all of you who took my um, positive thoughts class. I really appreciate it. I've been working hard on your cards and um, hope you really like them. So with this class, if you ordered this, which most of you did, you got the Positive Thoughts stamp set, which is, um, has some beautiful images and sentiments, and um, hopefully you'll use it a lot and get some ideas from this. Um, I think they're coming out with some die cuts for these too in the new catalog, so let's wait and see. I can't remember. <laughs> I, I haven't looked at it, and it makes my head spin to look at it because um, there's so many new things. But here's what your cards are. Um, you've got this one and um, the masculine one, which is really fun. And this is my favorite, the Joy Fold. And so be careful when you, um, when you open your packages that you don't just scatter it all together. It's all put together in order and your cards are kind of grouped together. And this one has one teeny tiny little rhinestone in it that is going to want to fall out. So just try to be careful. I did videos on all the cards. Um, it might be just too much for some of you and some of you will be frustrated because you can't keep up and just pause the video. That's what I always do if I'm trying to um, make a card as I go. And I think that's probably all I want to tell you. So have fun with that and thanks again. Okay, bye-bye. The first card I'll be demonstrating is this Positive Thoughts Poppy Colored Flowers card. Now, um, if you'd like, pull out your PDF instructions for this and follow along. It's actually pretty simple. The colors are, um, <laughs> they're unusual for ones that I would pick, but I like them. Um, Poppy Parade, So Saffron, and this is um, Pretty Peacock. Um, if you don't have these colors, I don't know what you're gonna do about this Poppy Ribbon. You know, if, if you can find something that would not clash with it, but just, um, Feel free to mix them up. I'm sure you'll come up with something good. So what you're doing is you grab, um, you're gonna grab the stack that looks like this, okay? It has those colors in it and the poppy ribbon sticking out. So when you get your packet, don't mix them all up. This is for this card. Okay, so dumping it out, putting the white one aside so I don't get it messed up and Let's work on this one first, because this is really simple. It's pretty peacock. I'm going to stamp feathers on it with the same, the same color, pretty peacock. This is a really pretty in color that will still be here for, um, oops, for another year. I kind of like the way it looks when you stamp and you let some of the image run off a bit. To me, it just looks more artsy. It's pretty good. I guess I could put one up here. Okay, that's it for that one. So um, I really like that color. In colors are colors that Stampin' Up! gives us um, every year. We get a new set of five in colors and um, th this is the year number two we're going into for this set of colors. So I'm glad I get to play with this one. And I've seen the new in colors um, in the new catalogs coming out in about a month. And you guys are going to like them. They're really pretty. Okay, so let me close this one up. If you leave your ink pads open all, all over, you're bound to 
plop some paper into it by accident. It just happens. Okay, so Poppy Parade is my next one. Um, okay, I'm going to do the Hugs, Prayers, Love. And I'm just... The hardest thing is to... So I ink it up and try to get straight. That's the hardest thing if you're not doing it with a Stamparatus. So... That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm looking at prayers, actually. I was looking at the way it went. Okay, so this one you have um, you have four chances. If you mess up this one, you can turn it and do this, and I think it's going to be covered up. Yeah. And then if that messes up, you have this and that. <laughs> okay, so you have a lot of chances with this. Um, that's it for the So Saffron. Then I'm off to the white, and... Again, it's such a quack, quick and easy card. Oh, what did I... Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going over a bit. I know oh, I should have done it a little bit closer up, but it's fine. Okay, so I just stamped um, three of these gorgeous flowers. Don't touch it for... Give it a um, 10 seconds or 20 seconds before you start smearing it. Um... Okay, so to assemble my card, now look, before you start gluing, really look at things, because if I glued the So Saffron on first, then I would realize, oh yeah, I, I need to tuck the edges under of the ribbon. So look at it first. Um, first thing I'm going to do is glue this one on. Where's my Tombow? Hmm. There it is. Now see how I don't use a ton of the, this is multi-purpose liquid glue, and I just call it Tombow. It's the first word right there. Um, but I don't use a whole lot, and I don't put it right at the edge because I don't want it making too much of a mess. Now this is going right there, and I usually tap it down like that to get my edges um, right against the side, and then just rub it down. So that's good. Next, I'm gonna do my ribbon. Um, you can just put your ribbon and without taping it and scotch tape around the back like this. And that's what I usually do. But another way that's nice is um, just to put snail across there. Can you see where that is? Yeah. and. Um, just lay it down like that. That's actually probably a little bit nicer. And let me get some tape. The only thing I want to tell you is don't use this because it'll seep right through this. You'll be able to see it and it'll make a mess all over your hands. And so don't use Tombow on ribbons. So I'm just getting the edges. I just use scotch tape because I know it's going to stay. You could use I guess, glue dots and stuff. So you're almost, this is a quick card. Okay, so let's put it on here. And Tombow, you have a few seconds to position it just perfectly. This one, I'm popping up with dimensionals. Now, I'm not including adhesives in your kits. So you guys need to use your own adhesives and dimensionals. If you don't have dimensionals, um, First of all, you should get some because <laughs> they're really they're really nice. They add something to your projects just by the three D look. But um, you could also just glue it down. You'd be fine with that. So I'm just before I oh yeah I was sticking it the bottom. I was making it equal um, so it lined up with that. Let me see. 
There I go. So I'm happy with that. This would be really pretty if you had Wink of Stella to add shine to it. Um, I didn't do that, so I added, I grabbed um, these things, which I put them away. I don't remember what I what they're called. Um, in, uh, I can't remember. They're, I guess they're on the, on the instructions on the back. Frosted and clear epoxy droplets. They're just kind of fun. They're different than, um, ah, different than the rhinestones. And there you go. Card number one. It's up to you guys to um, stamp a little something on the inside and you come up with your own design for the envelopes. I know you're gonna do something really pretty. So I'll include those too. So now I'm gonna work on the Positive Thoughts Masculine card. Um, I just really like this um, layout and I love the colors. This is um, soft suede ink and soft suede background with the brick and that color is beautiful if you guys don't have it. Um, also, it's really pretty with blues and with pinks. So here goes my card, okay. So you grab the pack that looks like this, okay? It's gonna have a little linen thread and the brick, and then you're gonna have a um, very vanilla envelope too to mess around with. So I'll dump everything out, put my, this is um, not whisper white, it's very vanilla, a little bit of an off-white. I'm gonna put it aside. Um, let's do the stampin' first. So I'm gonna do it on the balmy blue with soft suede and um, for this one, I hope you guys have a big enough um, block to do this with. This one is um, I, but I think I could could have done it with this one also. This, this is a real common block that you probably got this size with paper pumpkin. It's a D block, but let me go ahead. So I'm stamping up my favorite image in this set is the fern. I'm just gonna put it um, right there to where it's, oh, it's barely overlapping on that side and the stem is hanging off. I lift it up and I don't re-ink it. I'm just gonna position it a little bit down and do it again. And it makes that, um, it just makes like a shadow. I'm gonna show you something while I'm thinking of it about doing this type of a, um, I don't know what this technique is called, but I just wanna show you. If you, um, let me think what, <laughs> how to tell you. Um, if you do an image off like this and then you move it up, it's gonna, this didn't show it as well, but it's going to make a line um, right there. And see how um, with this image, the shadow is up here, but the bottom is dark because you didn't ink it up. So whenever I do this type of thing where I don't re-ink it, I start at the top and then I move it down a bit. So, okay. So I'm grabbing this and... I'm gonna have it here. And so I want it to um, see how on my card here, it it's cut off a little bit. So I'm gonna just take it and um, you could either glue it first or um, do like this, it doesn't matter. But I like to cut it from the back. It just makes a nice clean cut. And then I'm gonna grab some glue. Hmm, I don't need to. First, I'll do it on the very vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna put my, this is really pretty and it's called brick and mortar. And I think it's retiring, which is a drag. I Maybe it's not. I need to really look on there and um, let you guys know but if it, it if it is retiring you guys should think about getting it um if you have a big shop machine because isn't that cool 
Um, then I'm going to put, this is such a simple card. I'm going to put just a strip of Berry Vanilla on the side. Make it as straight as I can. There you go. I'm taking this one. I'm doing the same thing. This is Balmy Blue. Just want to line it up with that left edge real well. And okay, I forgot about this. Let me find my sentiments. Here it is. Sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. Here's your challenge <laughs> to get this straight. So do the best you can. I don't know why it helps me to line it up on the grid paper, but I'm gonna do this. Um I ink it up, I look at it to see that it looks like I got everything. And I love these cling stamps because they're not gonna fall off. Um, so center it as best you can, push it real well in the middle. And there I got it good. Don't don't do it and rock it back and forth. Don't do don't stamp and come immediately off. Give it a couple seconds for the ink to um, soak in there. And dimensionals. Hey, you guys are going to get this stamp set and you're going to have to mount it. So if you don't know how to do that, I did a video. Um, was it? It might have been one of those. I, I'm glad you asked one. So if you don't know how, send me the question and I'll find it for you and send you the link. So anyway, I'm popping up the sentiment with dimensionals. If you don't have dimensionals, like I said before, you sh you need you should get some, <laughs> but um because they're really fun for making your cards a little more um, special. But if you don't have them, you can glue it down. See how it just adds it pops it up just a bit and then you've got thread so grab your thread and you're just tying a bow I gave you plenty so you should be fine with that you can have a, as big as you want that looks kind of I guess that's even okay And then I'm going to do a glue dot and roll it up. If you don't have any glue dots, again, I think about getting some, but um, I just roll up a little, I don't think I can see it. There it is. A little piece of glue dot. I'm sticking it in the corner here and sticking this down. If you don't have a glue dot, um, you could use a drop of this, just barely a drop, and stick your bow down, and then don't touch it, because if you're messing with it, it's going to smear around. Okay, there you go. Isn't that neat? So do something fun with the inside and the envelope. Good luck, you guys. I hope you like this card. This card is called a Joy Fold card, and it's one of my favorite fun folds. It's really simple and easy you know easy to make but really cool when you open it so and I, this is my I, these are colors that I love and the whole thing the, I really like this one so this is the way it opens and then um you just flip this over and write your message on here and I hope you guys use the instructions for this to create some cards of your own so let's get started with this one. So you're gonna use the pack that looks like this. The trouble is, be careful, you have one teeny tiny little rhinestone in here. And um, these were from Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. It's because it's really pretty, it looks like a pool party. You see anything? Probably not, but it's real nice and um, if you, lose it or you want to add more or whatever you can always use your basic rhinestones and color them with a um with some kind of a blue um stampin blend marker and that works really well 
So here's what you do. I'm, I'll just put the envelope aside and you've got all the instructions to tell you everything. I'll start with pool party and I'm just gonna glue down um, this, I think this is called Leaves 3D. It's on the, all the um, products that you're using are on the back of your instructions. And so if you wanted to order these, and this is retiring and I'm so bummed. It's my favorite, it's gorgeous. But they, you know, they always come up with things that are, um, that are wonderful, so I'll be okay. And, but I love, love this one. So I'm just sticking it on there. It's very simple. If you make your own cards, you could also use this and put a piece of designer series paper. That'd be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, save your little rhinestone so you don't lose him. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick the inside down because there's not even any stamping on this. Designer Series paper, you have your choice of two different sides. So always turn it over and make sure you pick the one you like the best. Okay, so that's our outer card. I'm gonna work on the, um, the inner card. And um, I put the fold, this folds on the left and the little mini card, the fold is gonna be on the right side like this. And let me see, I'll put it out of the way and work on my um, whisper white little squares. So I'll do the there's pool party. I'm gonna stamp this in pool party. Again, if you don't have these colors, you just gotta just pick some that you think will go nicely with pool party. Um, even if it's a little different, it'll be really pretty. I think this is a great image. So I'm just putting it on the There you go. So I'm going to stick that on the inside like this so you can write your message. And this is the one, oops, that has a... Ah, has everything on it. So let me just copy what I did here. I used Highland Heather, I forgot to pull these out, Pear Pizzazz, um, Pool Party, I guess that's it. Let me do the center first. Because I wanna make sure it all looks, you know, it's all centered nicely. So I did this in Highland Heather and hopefully I'll get it straight. Yeah, it looks good. And um, if you don't get it straight, turn it over. It's, I guess, you know, you could also, if you're worried about it, do this one first because you have the back side of this, if you don't glue it down, that you could also use. Um, okay. I'm gonna use the flower image, which is so pretty. The corner, and then two. Really like that. That might go on the envelope really nicely. Okay, the leaves. Let's see what I did. Pear pizzazz and um, did one down like this, one coming up a bit, a little teeny thing there, and something going off to the side. Okay, 
um, I better give you a little scratch piece of white in case you have it. I forgot about this. So I'll pull out my little pieces and I'll make sure I stick one in here so you can do the butterfly. So um, you stamp a butterfly and they are eventually, you'll be able to get um, die cuts for all of these like the ferns and everything. So look for those in the new catalog. But I wanted everybody to be able to just use your stamp set and make some nice cards. So that was my purpose in this class. When I fussy cut stuff out, I leave a little, not even an eighth of an inch, like a sixteenth inch of a border of white around it instead of cutting right on the, where it's where the ink is. Okay. So you have something like that. I bend it a little bit. Um Actually, let me let me put it on here first, okay? Let me glue down the white square. It'll help me see where to put the butterfly a little bit better. Okay, and then let me, when I glue it in here, I'm gonna have this margin on this side be sort of the same as this, so, and just eyeball it. I'll probably have it there. So be careful because you don't want glue to be all over the place as you're moving your car, sliding your card around. So before I really put it down, I think that's going to be good. It's kind of nice to have these lines. So I have a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, I think that's going to be good. And then I'm going to grab a glue dot. And if you don't have glue dots... Like I said, you probably should get some of these. This will last you a long, long time. I bend my butterfly, place it on here like this, and it pulls it off. So it's right there. And I'm gonna stick it so it's sort of right there. So he's overlapping a little bit. Um, lastly, so if you don't have that, you could use um, a dot of glue, that would work. I just um and then you grab your rhinestone and just stick it on there. Ooh, I forgot to do the sparkle. This one I did. I don't know if everybody has this. This is another thing that you might add to your supply list because it's just really fun to have for your cards. It's called Wink of Stella. And that's the glitter brush. And um I'm just glittering it because and I know some of you are going to glitter all these flowers, and that would be beautiful. I wonder if you can see the sparkle. I think maybe you could see a little bit. Anyway, there's your card. So that's, you can see how it opens and closes, and you've got your envelope to decorate however you want. And thank you so much for joining me at this class. I hope you guys have fun with your cards and take care of yourselves. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.